an entire year of content uh, themes planned out. So each month I have a different theme and each, um, each I, I drop a new video on my channel. Oh, okay. So all my themes are planned out for the month. And then I have four to five topics for each month that are already planned out. Um, and I know exactly what the purpose of that video is. Sometimes the purpose is for engagement. Sometimes mm-hmm. the purpose is to get more people into my email list. Sometimes the purpose is to sell something. Um, but each video has a specific purpose and strategy that I have planned out. And I do that in advance. So I have the entire year planned out. Um, and then it is created three months in advance. So I already have, I have three months worth of content that is ready to drip release. So I am, because of my strategy, I could have an emergency with my children or I could take vacation or I could just disappear for three months and my content would still go out and my audience would never know the difference. Unbelievable. Whoa. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what I want. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, and that was, uh, again, out of necessity. Like I, I just was living, um, post to post. Like I would sit down yeah. at Facebook and I would say, I got to post something today, but I don't know what to say. I don't know mm-hmm. what to say. That's going to make a difference in my business or make a difference to my audience. And I was tired of that struggle. I would waste so much time trying to figure out what to say. So the annual plan, um, I, again, plan out my entire year of content around, you know, my business goals and my, and my content goals. And I never have to struggle with what to say. And all my content is talking about the same message at the same time. So even though I'm all over the place with different platforms, I'm on, you know, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, I'm emailing my list. I'm on IGTV, even though I'm all over the place, my message is the same throughout. So my audience that finds me on YouTube and then decides to come follow me on Instagram, I'm talking about the same thing. My message is still the same. They're reson. If they resonated with the message there, they're going to resonate with the message over on Instagram. And it's going to be an easier way to develop a relationship with them to where they're going to know, like, and trust me faster. Um, so it was really important to me because at the time I was like, I only had three platforms. I had Facebook group, and YouTube, and I had, um, you know, a a very meager email list. Ah. (laughs) Uh, And my Instagram was barely posting anything. So when I was trying to do that, I'd go to Facebook, and I'd say, I I can't say the same thing that I said in my YouTube video, I don't want to repeat myself. I want to make sure I'm adding value to everyone. But I was actually hurting my business by doing Mm -hmm. that, because I wasn't keeping my message strong throughout the month. Totally understand. Um, yeah. I so I had to really learn that lesson and, um, and my, my leads have been so much stronger and, um, because of, because of having a message that was strong throughout. Amazing. Thank you so much because, uh, I see myself on this situation because I do for my, for my own business, I create the posts in different platforms, but Thank God, I'm so glad that you said that. It's good to create the same, the speci- because people get to know us in a different platforms, but the same way, sending the same message. But I'm not creating yet. I'm going to say yet. I'm not <laughs> doing yet <laughs> for the year in advance, but that's my aim. I will get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's easier than you think. Like I said, I do it in, in just an afternoon. Um, I just take an afternoon in December and I plan out my entire year. Um, So it it shouldn't take you longer than that. And my course was made with, you know, less than 10 minute videos just so that you could get through it quickly. Because anyone who comes to my programs, they don't have time. You know, I know they don't have time. I know that struggle. So they don't, they don't have time to sit in front of the computer and take my course for 30 minutes at a time. And I realized that. So I tried to make everything that I create for people um, efficient time-wise. So Awesome. Because uh, myself, when I say I haven't created for a year in a row, is because the platforms I'm using, I believe, Mm -hmm. because they don't give me the access, because otherwise I would go... I would plan, I would sit down and I would do it because I don't know your strategy, your way of like you showing this to explain to your clients when they go through your course, how to do it. But you actually, you show, you give them um, a platform as well to work on or how they do. Yeah, absolutely. So Um, I, I teach people um, that the beginning strategy should really be that you, you pick 
one type of content to really focus on and it should be long form content. So for you, that's podcast, right? For me, mm-hmm. that's YouTube. Uh, it can be either recorded video podcast or blog post. Um, sometimes live video can be your strategy as well. If they are, um, pretty in depth and you plan on doing them weekly. All right. Um, but other than that, so that makes, makes things like LinkedIn or, um, Instagram, not really great strategies to start with, um, because you can't really break those up into smaller pieces. So starting with a long form piece of content and then repurposing them appropriately to other platforms. And there is a right way and a wrong way to repurpose. You can't just dump a piece of content onto another platform and Mm -hmm. expect to grow on that other platform. So, you know, taking, taking the care to actually respect the platform's algorithm and the audience on that other platforms so that you actually, it is purposeful and you actually do grow on those, um, you know, splash zone platforms. Oh, but that is a, but that is, um, how I say a plat, uh, when, when I say platform, I'm trying to say like a place where you can schedule your posts. Oh yeah. Um, I, I talk about that in my, uh, course Course. as well, because Mm -hmm. there's really, (laughs) there's so many, Many. and even, even in creating my course, I discovered more that I didn't even know existed. There's so many options out there. And I think it's, it's depends on what your splash zone is. And my, when I say splash zone, it's the those are the platforms that you're repurposing to. So for me, I repurpose to Facebook and Instagram, Mm -hmm. um, from YouTube. So I really like using creator studio, um, because it is a built in, it's built into Facebook. And that means the algorithm on Facebook and Instagram really like it coming from there instead of somewhere like buffer. Um, and it's free. It's something that everyone already has if you have a Facebook. Um, so I really like that platform. However, if you are planning on repurposing to, um, something like Pinterest with your blog post or whatever, obviously that's not going to work for you. You're going to need something like Tailwind. Um, and Tailwind can do Instagram as well. So it really depends on where you plan on repurposing. Uh, There's really no right answer for everyone. I really so the the you said the 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 Facebook we i creation right the name what the creator name? studio oh creator studio so this plat this place this platform in on facebook is it will post of a schedule we will be able to schedule and we also can post on instagram yep you can schedule six months in advance oh fantastic. Yeah. Are you listening, my listeners? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone has this. If you have a Facebook and you just go to the top where you can search yeah. names or you can search groups, just type in Creator Studio in the search and it will pop up. And you just go in there and you can post either um, a Facebook page, a Facebook group, or your Instagram. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Gwen. Oh, amazing. <laughs> We're yeah. learning. That's what I love podcast because we are always learning with my guests. Amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. I feel magic. I feel magic yeah. in the air. <laughs> so the last question I've got for you, my dear, how can people find you? Awesome. Yeah. So I am all over the place as no. simplified <laughs> content. So on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, my email, uh, everything, everything is simplified (laughs) content. My website is simplifiedcontent.com. Um, so I would recommend if you want to have, um, you know, more, uh, just in-depth conversations with me or just a connection with me. I really am always in my Instagram. Um, so my Instagram is the only thing that I do daily because I am in my stories. Now my posts to my feed are done pretty far in advance and they come out because they've been scheduled in creator studio. Um, but I am always in communication with my audience on, um, on my stories. So if you want to start a conversation with me, I love DMS. So find me on Instagram or, um, you know, find me on Facebook or even YouTube. And I have a lot of free, awesome tutorials on YouTube about content creation as well. So Fabulous. What about your promotion? You got a promotion to tell to my listeners today. 
have all you yeah so i touched on it before the annual plan is going to help you plan out a year of content in advance Um, again you can start any time of the year so if if you are feeling right now like you are struggling to figure out what to post and um, it's taking too much time and um, you never want to sit there in front (laughs) of a computer screen or your phone trying to figure out what you should post about that's going to be strategic in your business, 